Did you know that you can transition to a paperless real estate business with just three technology tools? Hi, my name is Jason Pantana. I'm a realtor with Village Real Estate Services and a technology trainer from Nashville, Tennessee. Let's take five minutes to explore the tools I use in my fast-paced, paperless, and pretty much mobile business. So I travel fairly extensively, but whether I'm on the road for a speaking engagement or just driving the streets of Nashville showing property, I rely on Dropbox to access my documents and my files. Dropbox is a cloud-based tool that integrates my computer, my tablet, and my smartphone. My files are neatly organized into folders and accessible anywhere, anytime. So let's talk about the folder system. I have a folder for every client. The folder might contain mm, a contract, an inspection report, maybe some property photos, or just general correspondence. And I have a folder for templates. I create an Excel spreadsheet template for CMAs, and a PowerPoint template for listing appointments, and so on and so on. So these templates spare me from having to create a CMA or a listing presentation from scratch. I present a consistent brand identity with every new client, and I can access them 24-7. Additionally, I keep folders for all of my listing contracts and my pending closings, too. This means my files are always there for me, anywhere and everywhere. Dropbox has saved me at the closing table mm, more than once, and we all know that files occasionally get misplaced, but with Dropbox, I can easily pull up the missing file and share it with the closing agent. Crisis is averted. So that's Dropbox. Evernote is another trusted app. Evernote is essentially a note-taking task management app that operates in the cloud. I keep a running list of my workflow, my deadlines, along with lots of other note-oriented items. And the app is equipped with a very powerful toolbar, which enables me to do a variety of formatting tweaks, things like creating checklists, so on and so forth. And one way I've made use of this little feature is to keep a to-do list for each client so that I can check things off as they're completed. You know, with Evernote, you can create individual notes as well as notebooks. I've created a very extensive note system. And I have a note for preferred vendors as well, just as an example. It includes mortgage consultants, home inspectors, Etc. So if a consumer asks for a recommendation, I simply share my list by copying it and pasting it into an email. It's that easy. I have a note file for every client where I log details about the transaction, the property, timelines, deadlines, and all the to-dos that go along with excellent client service. Arguably the best feature of Evernote is its search function. You can search for keywords, you can tag your location, and easily find frequently used information. So with Evernote, it's just really easy to keep track of things. The final paperless tool I want to talk about is Google Apps for Business. Now in the past, Google offered a free version, uh, but now there's a monthly fee to use this service. The details are actually available at google.com A as in apps. And I like the ease of storing all my tools, my calendars, emails, and so on. And I like storing them up in the cloud as Google provides. However, one unique aspect of Google Apps is that it allows multiple users to collaborate with a familiar Office suite of applications, comparable to Microsoft Office. So things like documents, spreadsheets, slideshow, contacts, you get the idea. So it's great for teams. But in terms of collaborating with my clients, I created a shared access spreadsheet within Google Apps for each client. This is where I list and discuss the properties, the ones to see, the ones to pass on. Uh, in a structure that contains the conversation and keeps things in order, unlike email conversations sometimes. Buyers can leave their remarks about properties, the ones they've seen, they can tell me which ones to eliminate from the list. Yeah, you get the idea once again. So it's a great way to learn what my buyers are looking for in a property so that I can find a way to provide better service to them. Then, using a Google Maps API, yes, Google Maps API, which in essence allows me to pull Google Maps information into the spreadsheet, I automatically map routes to each of the properties my buyer wants to see, and I log the mileage. This makes tax preparation a lot less stressful. Moving on, the Google Apps Marketplace is an app store, more or less. It offers tons of third-party apps or services to install into my Google Apps account. My favorite app is probably MailChimp. MailChimp is essentially an email marketing service. It's got amazing tools, designs, and flexible pricing plans. I use their service for sending newsletters, so on and so forth. And what makes this association or this relationship between Google and MailChimp so impressive is the contact integration, uh, meaning that MailChimp actually has access to my contacts which are stored in Google up in the cloud, and it automatically updates my subscriber lists. So my mailing lists are always current, 
and the contacts are kept in one central place. There you have it, my three favorite tools for running a paperless business. But there are others. Find the ones that work for you and stick with them. Best of luck, everyone.